Hello and welcome along. We are headed up to Crossfields Dairy today because both Alan and his daughter are away, uh, but they uh, do need to get their canola cuts. So I'm bringing the JCB up here and they have given me access to their combine. Uh, for me to have a go instead um, They have taken me over it all uh, They've showed me uh, around and everything This field should fit pretty much all of it in my trailer So uh, I'm not expecting to have to reload very much um, But uh, yeah, we're being let loose in the combine today So let's start her up Yeah, they got everything ready for me before they left um, I have set everything up I'm going to start up the thresher first. There we go. And lift our head up. And then we'll get that started up. There we go. Sounding great. And then we're going to go into the crop. And get this going. So down... And in. And look at that. So going, they told me go round the headland anti-clockwise first. And then come around it clockwise the second time. That's because there's a lot of trees and uh, branches and things that could harm the auger. Uh, if we're not careful. Oh, press it up. There we go. Uh, and so we want to we wanna try and protect that at all costs. They also told me to cut out this li a little bit out of here, like so. And that that will make it easier for me to turn and get back onto the next level of headland. Uh, which is brilliant. There we go. Oh. Ah, round, round. Come on. Get that in. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, it's just this little field of uh, canola that they've got here. Um, but what they said to me was... If I uh, uh, if I get this knocked out, uh, I can get the combine up to my farm, and we actually have one of our fields of barley ready to cut. So uh, we're probably going to try and get this combine up to my farm and do that today. The downside to that, of course, uh, is the fact that my tractor and trailer are down here. So I'll probably, when I do this have to go and tip it, uh, go and sell the crop, um, which is uh, what they've asked me to do. And then we can uh, drop my traction trailer off at my farm and we'll have to just have a quick walk up the road. It's not too far, it's a couple of cross. You can actually, you can just see it at the edge of the door there in the distance. Uh, you can see uh, Brompton Farm. So yeah, shouldn't be too difficult for me. Uh, should be able to uh, to hopefully then just have a quick walk across the fields and uh, and come and grab this uh, a combine and uh, we might be able to actually get a field of the barley done today. Coming to the end of the first headland, getting about 20, yeah, 22% full. Uh, it's going in there quite nicely. I'm going to watch out for this. We've got enough space in this corner to, to make this turn, but I don't want to hit the barn, obviously. There we go. I think this is why this corner actually is a little bit cut out. It makes it easier to turn around and go the other way when we need to. Uh, we are... I'm employing the whole thing. That the, the top. Basically, I spent a whole time with uh, Elizabeth in the cab here, going through the con uh, controls on here. Uh, very much telling me keep the auger out of the crop uh, that way uh, if you're carting with somebody or if you're or even if you're carting solo uh, fairly easy to keep the uh, fairly easy to get access to the auger and you'll never get caught out and uh, and if you are doing the field uh, and uh, yeah do the do the field and, and cut in and try and divide it up you'll you'll it'll cost you less in fuel and uh, and yeah just just generally uh, doing things uh, how she instructed me to on here 
Um, she's doing very well on this farm. I'm, I'm very impressed. Her father's getting on a bit, and she's, uh, she's taking over things a bit for him. There we go. But, uh, yeah, it looks like, it looks like this was going to get overripe, or, because it's fairly late to be harvesting this canola. Um, so that's why they've asked me to do it. They left it much longer. Uh, the conditions wouldn't be right for it, and they would, uh, and they would likely lose this crop. So uh, asking me to come in and do it was uh, was the best solution they had, um, which is good because it gives me some experience on this combine, uh, which is quite good. Hopefully, one day we'll be able to get one of our own for the farm, but uh, not until I think we've got a couple more fields. We're the thing about the fields around Brompton Farm is that while many of the uh, many of the local landowners are open to selling to me, especially the ones that are accessible via the farm and I have to give uh, right of way through for at the moment, um, they uh, they do cost a bit and they are quite large. We will we will need a combine of this sort of size at the smallest in order to do the fields and we'll find that later when we come to do our own field our bigger field of barley that is going to take uh, quite a bit of work to uh, to get that done even with a combine of this sort of size and that is the headlands done we've got 57 percent uh, off this field i don't think i'm going to cut in um despite what uh, elizabeth said uh, easiest way to do this field now uh, Well, we can either go straight up the middle or we can just cut down the sides and take it out I think rather than trying to position myself in the right place It's going to be much much easier for me to uh, Just take each side out at a time This I, I doubt we're gonna fill the combine. We're getting about uh, 3.1 to 3.3 tons a hectare off this and um yeah that's it's not a huge amount to uh canola it, uh, it tends to produce a lower volume uh, although it goes for a higher price so it's um it's an interesting crop it is one of the ones that uh, myself and uh, my uh, agronomist are looking at uh, as a possibility to grow on brompton especially as we uh, get more crops going on the farm uh seeing as we've only got spring barley in this year uh we need to uh, get a little bit of a rotation going on the farm really so next year we're probably looking at, at adding something like canola or sunflowers or something like that, like that in uh, canola has an advantage of course of being something you can do with a combine like this uh, with only minor adjustments Whereas uh, to get sunflowers, I'd I'd need to. Well, they don't have the header here at the dairy to uh, to handle sunflowers. So yeah, uh, it's uh, it's one of those crops that uh, is probably not something we're going to grow um, because of that. One more bit of crop, I think, and then that will be this finished. Uh, it is. Boy, oh, is this all going to fit in this header? We're going from the wide end of this wedge to the thin end. Uh, no, I'm going to cut in. And we'll uh, we'll come back. I thought it would be the last row, but instead I'm going to uh, leave myself with enough to, uh, to just put it straight down the centre of the combine and finish this off. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we're going to miss bits. And it's going to be difficult to get those bits we miss. So, plonk it right down the middle. And we're going to end up with uh, about 8,000... Yeah, 8,600 litres. There we are. And turn the thrusher off as well. Like so. And down... Out with the auger. There we go. Right, let's uh, let's go get the tractor and trailer. 
And with the tractor and trailer coming in, we, yeah, this is gonna be, it's gonna be less than half a trailer full of, uh, of crop going into this. And there we go, into the trailer. I'm gonna move it back a little bit, I'm a little bit close to the edge. There we go, much better. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go and deliver this down to uh, one of the local cell points. Whoa, that's a bit too close to the front. Ah, it's empty now. Shake a little bit off the end. And I'm just gonna, so they said the they've left the header trailer for me through here. Oh, and to not worry about this, just to carefully maneuver this. They said part of the reason why they got this combined is it fits between these two sheds. I think fits is a little bit... Wow. Right. Let's bring this around here. They only have... As I understand, they only have one tractor on this farm, and I don't know where it is at the moment. There we go. Right. Watch that end. Right, there should be a line up for the clamps for this. Okay. I think that's it. But yeah, I see the clamps. Down. Oh, no. You know what would help? That's not going to decouple because I have all of uh, the bits still attached. Now let's uh, detach that and detach that. And that way we can do that. Looking at this, trying to see where my clamps are. I think we want to be a little bit more to the uh, right. Maybe. Yeah, I think that would be wise. Okay. Back it off a little bit. A little bit more to the right. I'm very wary of that wall. And there. Detach. And it's on. Perfect. Right. We need then to hook this up to the back. And before I do that, actually, I'm just going to go and put the clamps on this. So do that one and do that one. There we are. Back this up. Yeah. Right, let's uh, connect that up and that, and then this is all ready for me when I come back. Oh man, we got to get this through this gateway. That is going to be that is going to be driving into the field and turning around. I don't think there's any other way I could do that. Right, so we need to take this down to the cell point and uh, get it dropped off with the merchants there. Away we go. The location where we need to deliver this is once again the old water mill. It is about as far from Crossfields Dairy as we can get. Uh, we have to go all the way round. Unfortunately, the river uh, runs sort of uh, through and, and separates um, both Crossfields and Brompton Farm from uh, the this side of things from uh, the uh, the Attingham Park side uh, and as a result we have quite a long journey to go 
to uh, to get it uh, delivered. Um, it it works well. You know, we are uh, we are going to be good, and I'm I'm very happy with how it's going, uh, and uh, and the fact that we managed to get well, we we got over half a trailer full of canola off that field, so that's going to be good um, for the dairy. That that's going to. Uh, be a nice little money earner for them should be a good little money earner for me as well um especially doing uh, the combining and the carting myself uh they they've said they'll pay me a little bit more for and um yeah uh, and then i just need to pay them a little bit of money for helping out with us and uh, and helping to do our uh stuff as well so it's uh, it's better doing it that way uh right here we go the sweet potato, natural food, sweeter prices. But where we're going to is the old water mill. And, uh, and we're just delivering this here as per their contract. And uh, as always, there's a little bit of it in, for me, in there for me as well. Uh, not much because obviously there's only 8,500 litres here. But it should still uh, provide a little bit of income for me. And then we've got the uh, the big stuff. We're actually going to be storing the crops ourselves. We don't have a buyer for them at the moment. Um, and uh, I've, I've heard that certainly first time uh, like this, it's worth me waiting till the prices rise a little bit later in the year. Um, I believe Crossfields A doesn't have any grain storage um, at the dairy. And uh, B, they uh, they already have these contracts assigned um, with these locations. So we'll tip this. And uh, then we can get back. There we go. I was worried I hadn't connected up my uh, pipes for a moment. But no, I can. That's the one of the nice things about this JCB. I can actually see what is being, um, how everything's connected uh, without having to lean back. There we go. All done and dusted. So uh, I'm going to get the JCB back to our farm. And then, um, yeah, when they're, uh, when they're back tomorrow, they're going to help me start to cut the barley on our farm. Um, that is, of course, presuming that the, uh, the wheat hasn't dried. Because uh, if the wheat dries, I want to immediately get out there, get that all uh, rowed up and baled, and um, yeah, then we'll be good from there. I have heard of a new baler that might suit our farm a little bit better. We currently got square bales uh, on the farm. I have heard of a uh, new Holland round baler that might be coming uh, available that might fit us better than the uh, D800 we have now. I have noticed the moisture in the uh, grass that we've got drying in the fields uh, has been uh, dropping rather nicely now that we've uh, given it a ted. The, hopefully it should dry out just in enough time for, the, uh, for us to be able to bale it up and collect it in the near future, uh, which would be absolutely grand. I'm going to leave this here for now. There we go. Um, but yeah, if we, I'm just going to run over here and have a look quickly. It's quite a little bit of a, a little bit of a run. And I've got to be careful. I don't want to trespass. Yep, yeah, we're good. Oh, actually, I am trespassing. That's the back garden of the house. Um, but yeah, you can see it's it's drying out nicely, but it's not quite there yet. Yeah, this is why I can't put a roadway out that way. I've got to bring one uh, at the bottom of the trees, which is going to be a, a job for the winter, I think. Is we're gonna we're gonna look at this here. Um, and we've got where we're going to be putting our barley is actually in this lean-to here, but it's um, obviously it's only really suitable for a single crop, so we don't have a lot of storage on here. So I'm looking at possibilities of. Uh, getting a grain store as we uh, expand as well. Uh, right, I will leave this here. I'm going to have to go and have a walk across the fields 
and go and get the combines. So uh, actually, that's a pretty good place for me to leave this today. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I will get the combine back here and get us all set up for the barley in the near future. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.